Travel, they say, improves the mind. An irritating platitude, which frankly, entre nous, is very far from true. Personally, I've yet to find that longitude and latitude can educate the scores of monumental bores who travel in groups and herds and troops of various breeds and sexes till the whole world reels to shouts and squeals and the clicking of rolly flexes. Why do the wrong people travel, travel, travel when the right people stay back home? What compulsion compels them and who the hell tells them to drag their bags to Zanzibar instead of staying quietly in Omaha, the Taj Mahal, and the Grand Canal, and the sunny French Riviera would be less oppressed if the Middle West would settle for somewhere rather nearer. Please do not think that I criticize or cavil at a genuine urge to roam. But why, oh why, do the wrong people travel when the right people stay back home and mind their business when the right people stay back home with television when the right people stay back home? I'm merely asking why the right people stay back home. Why do the wrong people travel, travel, travel when the right people stay back home? What explains this mass mania to leave Pennsylvania and clack around like flocks of geese demanding dry martinis on the Isles of Greece in the smallest street where the gourmets meet the invariably fetch up and it's hard to make them accept a steak that isn't served rare and smeared with ketchup. It would take years to unravel, ravel, ravel every impulse that makes them roam. So why, oh why, do the wrong people travel when the right people stay back home and eat hot donuts when the right people stay back home with all that lettuce when the right people stay back home. I sometimes wonder why the right people stay back home. Just when you think romance is rife, it rather sharply dawns on you that each sweet serenade is for the tourist trade. The first page, Jerry. Yes. I know. Any attractive native type who resolutely fawns on you will give as his address American Express. There isn't a rock between Bangkok and the beaches of Hispaniola that does not recoil from suntan oil and the gurgle of Coca-Cola. Why do the wrong people travel, travel, travel when the right people stay back home? What peculiar obsessions inspire those processions of families from Houston, Texas, with all those cameras around their necks? They will take a train or an airplane for an hour on the coast of Brava, and they'll see Pompeii on the only day it's up to its ears in molten lava. Millions of tourists are churning up the gravel while they gaze at St. Peter's Dome. But why, oh why, do the wrong people travel when the right people stay back home and play canasta when the right people stay back home? Won't some when the right people stay back home?